Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is uh, Nick and Daryl from uh, Morel Temptations. Uh, we're gonna open up a couple eggs. Uh, we, I think we showed when we put these in here. I don't know if we did that or not. It's only like our fourth video. Uh, this is an Enchi Emperor pin head clown. He's, he's bred for us multiple times. So a pastel clown we initially were borrowing from Pet Haven Pet Store down the street and we ended up buying this animal. So. We're still going to split the clutch, as we promised to do, but uh, most of these are out of the egg already. So that's what we want to do today. And then we're going to have another one, an egg cutting. Uh, we'll get to that one in a minute. So they would just start at day 55 for those. It's day 57 for these. They're all out already. Uh, we let four of them pip, and then we cut the other one, the last couple. So there you go. As you can see, we've already looked at these to got some of the eggs. These are some big babies. Uh, started with this one yesterday we had it out it was 86 grams this proves out our head clown male we had him uh, DNA tested from rare genetics Inc he came back as positive for clown but this definitely proves him out now visual clown um, I believe super pastel I don't think there's any in there Lesser. I would say lesser. lesser. Yeah, lesser in this one. But yeah, big healthy babies, 86 grams. I think all of them are fairly large. So that's our first one. And uh, we're going to be putting these. Aside. I'll grab the box. I told Nick to put it aside, but we'll go ahead and use it. We're going to put these aside. The box is already prepped. Get them out of there. Next one is Pinstripe. Another clown. Uh, you got me on after that. <laughs> Pinstripe clown. Maybe Enchi. I don't think so. Just a pinstripe clown. I was thinking a little bit of pastel in it. Uh, Just based off its head. That's not really getting rid of the light there, so. Yeah, look at the nose, nose pattern, so. Yeah, it's going to be pastel. Don't let them shed. See how bright it gets, if it brightens up or not. Another good sized baby, though. These are going to be big and healthy babies. I'm going to save this one for last because it's kind of funky. Uh, got two of these. Now, this one is Enchi, it's Pinstripe, it's Clown. Uh, it's not shut out yet. Yeah, look at the light. It could be pastel. And it could be a super pastel. I don't know. This one may just be pastel, inchy pinstripe clown. And I say the farther you get down its body, then there is no pattern at all. No pattern in there. Mom was a pastel visual clown. Dad's a head clown. Inchy emperor pin. That is a yellow snake, though. Just like Dad. Dad's really yellow. He's bright yellow, so he still is. He's four years old, and he's still bright yellow. All right. We have the two. Uh, the only one that's not a clown. Let's see. That's just a pastel inchy. Don't think it's a super. Head's pretty blushed out, so it's possible. But they are fat. They are very a fat. Big chunky. His belly feels good. All right. Definitely not clown. So it's... one thing I learned is watching all the other YouTubers. For the people that don't know, clowns have no eye stripes. That is a uh, not to mention their their pattern, but no eye stripes is a uh, that's your giveaway. Which was interesting to learn that. Thank you for the people I watched that taught me that. All right. Oops, let me get you back in there. All right. <clears throat> there. It's a pastel clown. And, uh... 
I was going to say pastel inchy clone. Good red. If it's inchy, it could be. This back's kind of washed out here, but put pastel inchy clown. Look at the head pattern. That's to be the giveaway. It's like that's got the inchy pattern in that. Pastel inchy clown. And once again, we'll, uh, like we said in our last video, we'll go back through everything. And I, I like to research and just double check what I come up with before I say it. Because I am not the best and it's always learning. It's our first time breeding clowns. So we're pretty happy. They had five out of six were uh, visual clowns. Uh, not bad for your first head to, head to visual pairing. And this is the funky one. Only because it's a lot, it's light. This one's probably a super with lesser. Uh, it's hard to tell. Let's be honest. This this it almost looks like it's champagne at this point, but it just it hasn't shed. So it's gonna be a clown. There was you know there's no way in, this could be an ivory or, any, or a bell. Uh, Mom didn't have any jeans for that. Uh, neither Dad didn't have any of the yellow belly jeans, as far as I know. Um, he is very yellow. But Mom has nothing. She's just a basic, plain, pastel clown. And, uh, so, this one's going to have to shed out and look at it, but I believe this one's going to be a super with lesser, uh, maybe pinstripe clown. But we're going to have to wait till that one sheds, because that's kind of neat. Good size, I'll put them in there. They're gonna go back in the incubator for a week until they all shed out, and then uh, we start our babies off on ASFs, like we said before. And these will only be on until they get over 100 grams, and we put, try to put, we got rat pups, we also breed. They'll be going on rat pups as soon as possible, and then frozen thaw, we try to get them on that fairly quickly. Before we open this up, let's put that aside. I'm gonna pull this out, so while we're here, I'll give you an idea what mom looks like mom she took about three weeks to get back on food after she had laid them after the laid the eggs but she's had a few meals now she's starting to plump back up she got really dark afterwards after she laid when when she's ovulating and, and building she got really bright but looks like just simple Pastel clown. I don't believe there's anything else in her. She was uh, given to us as a pastel clown. I have no reason to believe otherwise. She's a great eater, so now that she's back on food, she should do well. She's getting nice and chunky already. First few meals. Take your home. This is Dad. I'll bring him out. Give you an idea. This is a snake. He's four years old. He was purchased at Tinley, October of 2019. Not by me. Somebody else bought him. Then the man was moving back to Kansas City. Put him on a Craigslist. And that's where I found him. I took his word that he was head clown. He still had the breeder's uh, deli cup I got him from. He's listed as an Anchi Emperor pin. Uh, he's held his color pretty well. He used to be a really good frozen thought eater, but now he's been a bit of a pain in the butt. He only eats live, and for most of the winter, he after he started breeding, he would only eat once a month. So we're still trying to fatten him back up, but he probably weighs 1,200 grams, but he can use uh, some weight here. He's been eating about every other week now, so... He's starting to eat more regularly for a while. He only eat every four weeks or so. And, only, and he's always liked smaller food for whatever reason. He's like smaller food, but he's very bright. He's held his colors. He's an Anchi Emperor pin, 100% head clown. And uh, if you ever click on our Royal Temptations Facebook page, he's on the cover. He's our our banner with two of his offspring from his first year of breeding. So he's in the middle. He made two that look just like him. So, big boy, we name him Helios. He's a stud. He's bred for three years in a row now, so. Definitely likes the ladies. Let's see. And All then, right. 
The next one was our si our fifth clutch of the year. It was a dual sire. We or originally started with our male Neo, who was an orange dream lesser yellow belly, but then decided we were going to try to not do yellow belly as much to try to limit our, the amount of ivories we get. Because we bred him to a pastel champagne. Wait, no. That's a different female I'm thinking of. Never mind. So, we're just really trying to prove out... Uh, actually, we're not trying to prove out anything. We're just trying to get some nice babies out of them. What really happened on that, and whether we edit this out or not, is what really happened is Dad was an idiot. So, Nick don't want to... He didn't. We bred Neo to this twice. I saw locks. And then one month, um, I got it wrote down on our cards. I forgot which one I paired... And I put Lieutenant Dan in there one month. And only one time, saw a lock. The next time, next two times, I put Neo back in. So I listed it as, as a possible. Now, Lieutenant Dan is Inchy, um, Orange Dream Yellow Belly. Is that correct? Mm hmm. And then Neo is uh, Orange Dream Yellow Belly Lesser. So one's a lesser, one's Inchy. They both have Orange Dream Yellow Belly, but Lieutenant Dan is Het for Pied. So there's a possible that, you know, if these entities come out head for pie, that Lieutenant Dan was the uh, sire, or Enchi. The lessers, obviously, are going to be uh, from Neo. So that was my mistake. I try not to do that. There's, I know some people like to do dual sires to improve their odds. I'm not good enough at identifying them yet, so I don't do that. I made a mistake here. So That said, this is going to be a cutting. We've had some pips. Um, I tried to pass not the cut. We always wanted to see them come out, but then uh, last year we had a couple die in the egg, and I decided I was just, unless they start pipping, I'm cutting them. Just uh, I don't I didn't like that last year. Two of them had they were blind, so really nothing I could do for those. But one of them died in the egg, and I think that was uh, that may have been able to be avoided. I'm not sure, but I kind of felt really bad about it, so. We're going to try to avoid that if possible. Um, I know there's a lot of people in the no-cut club. I was a member of that. I get it. It was kind of fun watching them all pip like these guys all pipped out. But we're going to go ahead and cut these. Well, Nick, which one do you want to do first? Uh, you swap pick? No, I'll, I'll cut them. You just pick them. Uh, this one was the one I was really curious about at first. One? All right, we'll let you have that one. Oh, these are, that's right, we didn't cut these apart. So, this pastel champagne, to like I said, the dual sire clutch. And we want to see what we got here. Because that is, uh, almost like a bell. Hmm. Told you, I saw something funky in there. Now, the funny thing is, is we got the champagne. It's also a snake we uh, got from the pet store. And we were just, uh, we were initially just going to breed these together and uh, split the clutch with the pet store and send the females back. And we were going to do the incubating or whatever, and that was part of our agreement. But I ended up purchasing all four of them I have from them. So we're still going to split the clutches. But I was told this is a pastel champagne. There's no reason, I didn't, I didn't have any reason to believe that she had anything else in her, because I wasn't told that. I know she's got a yellow belly, which would produce an ivory, or if she has any of the bell complex genes, I'll get, a, get her out, I'll take a look at her. Let me cut the rest of those eggs, but this is mom, and uh, she's going to be... She could be a bit spicy, so we gotta watch her. Oh, she's going to the shed too, so she's her eyes are clouding up a little bit, a little bit. So she's a pastel champagne. She's got the green eyes. She's real pretty. Um, I don't know if she has any all this dark shading here. Maybe she's Mojave or something. I don't know. I literally don't know. Somebody turned us into the pet store, and that's how we got her. So interesting though, because if that turns out to be a bell, that's you know, mom has something we didn't know about. And, uh, and if it's a bell from a Mojave Lesser, then it would be Neo was the full sire. That is correct. Yes, because the other one has no bell genes in it, so. Very interesting. All right. Good call, Nick. 
I might as well go ahead and take the other one that's open since we already saw a head on that one. And, uh, said we're still working on our technique on our videos, so if you see something here, you feel free to chime in. My wife has no problem telling us if we do something stupid. Um, that we're learning. Okay, what are you? Pastel? Pastel. Anything else? Can you really see its head? No. Definitely a pastel. I don't know if there's any orange dream in there or not. So, it's definitely pastel though. Maybe orange dream. It's his tail. The lighting down here is terrible. That's uh, This is my rec room. Uh, I don't have a facility like some people do. And uh, I'm a big uh, football fan. This is where I watch football games. But half my room I turn into a snake room here for me and Nick to do our hobby. Share it with you people. So this one's uh, trying to get out. So we're going to do our best to help it. It's been cutting away. It would have been out in no time. So. All right, Nick, what do you got here? Hmm. That's an inchy. Wait. That, that's an inchy, isn't it? Uh, now I'm confused. <laughs> Why? Lieutenant Dan's inchy. Right. You could have dual sire. And you could have both. Oh, well, never mind. So there you go. And you can have both. But that is, that looks inchy. Yeah, definitely inchy. Um, I don't know if he's got a yellow belly or anything else in him. Obviously, he's still in there, but that's definitely an inchy. So, so we have a legitimate dual sired clutch because there's no pastel in Lieutenant Dan. Mom has pastel. Mom has pastel. Okay, so never mind. So, so far, well, lesser or yellow belly. Maybe mom's yellow belly. Maybe it's an ivory. I'm gonna take this uh this egg here, see. Get in there. See last year on this we we had this in the, our incubator, it's a monster beverage cooler incubator. In the middle right is the one we had where the eggs went bad. We had three bad eggs. Two snakes were blind and one was one died in for it come out of the egg. So and that's where this lo was located. Now the year before we had no problem in that space, so you know, that had us concerned that maybe have an incubation problem. Had me concerned. I don't know if Nick's thought about it much, but um, I have. Because, you know, that really bugged me last year. But, oh, my. Did you see what that is, Nick? You see what that is? That's pied. That's pied. That's champagne pied. So that means mom is head. Um... <laughs> Uh, that's a pied, folks. Dad is, we know Dad's a pied, because we just proved him out with another clutch. He had, <laughs> he had eight eggs and four of them come out pied, and that... That is a champagne pied. That is a pied. Unless, well, champagnes do throw pied. They can not throw pied markings. But that is a, that looks like a pied. Honestly, the champagne I've always seen, they always throw little small little ringers. That is just, that's... that is, if that is pied, that's high white. Yeah, there's a high white pied, and that could be mean. Mom is head pied, and we did not know that. Well, we're seeing all kinds of uh, crazy stuff in this clutch. <laughs> this is insane. Well, 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 well. All right, Nick, you get to pick. Uh, let's take the big one. The biggest of the bunch. Max may not be happy about that one. He threw that snake in as a throw-in. That's all right. So you take that's the risk you take. All right. All right. Let's. Uh... Now I'm glad I may have put Lieutenant Dan in there on accident. <laughs> Holy smokes! Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Uh, 
inchy? Uh, I'll say inchy. inchy. Inchy at least. Inchy at least. So far, no champagnes. It's inchy at least, and it's uh, who knows what else. It's got so much uh, goo in there yet. I don't want to mess with it. Inchy, look at the pattern, pastel. To be pattern, pastel, inchy pastel. We're going to leave that one alone. All right. All right. Wow. I'm going to do this one, Nick. You're in there? Yep, yeah, you're in there. So here we go. going to see if we can hit two pies. Wouldn't that be something? See a little bit of white in there. There's another white. Mm hmm we got something going on here, folks. We don't know what's going on, what we have. I'm not seeing any. That is, that's all white. That's another all white snake. Another bell. Wow. Just stunned what we got going here. Stunned. And then the final one. That is, a, that is crazy. So. That's what makes the hobby fun, though. This is this is it right here. I'm getting, I'm getting some chills. My hairs are standing up. Uh, <laughs> this is exciting. Is all we were really expecting were maybe Orange Dream Champagne Lessers, Orange Dream Champagne and Cheese. This was my least anticipated clutch. I figured I'd just threw a couple together. It was a pastel champagne. Nothing big. We're just putting a few together. and uh, That's dark. Oh yeah, that's a oh maybe a normal, maybe hit a normal. Uh, normal. Oh no, nope, it's not gonna be a normal. It's got a head stamp. It's got a head stamp. Maybe an orange dream. Just single dream, single dream, orange dream. Single dream, orange dream. Maybe. It's pretty normal looking. Uh, we'll let that one come out. It fits in there pretty good. So it's alive. It's moving around. His head's moving. There he is. He's like, hey buddy, look at me. So yep, yeah, he's coming out. All right, so it's either a normal, which I don't. Oh my bad. You know, it doesn't have a lot of alien heads. I'm gonna guess it. It does have a head stamp. It's got a light stamp. I'm gonna guess that's probably an orange dream. Other than that, we're just gonna leave it alone. Take all of our toothpicks out real fast. We... Yep. Uh, it should be all of them. Uh, good question. So let's see. We got. That has a champagne head stamp. Yes, it does. That's the one you thought was paradoxed. So we got one that looks like it has paradoxing. All white. Uh, pastel. One that looks like an Enchi. Possibly just a single gene orange dream. Uh, Enchi pastel, maybe. And then the little... Orange dream pied. One. Orange Dream Champagne Pied. Not sure. It's that headstand that makes me want to say Champagne Pied. Yeah, that's... Not sure if Champagne Pied wipes out the color altogether. I can't remember. That one I'm going to have to look up. Yeah. That is, uh, regardless, it is insane. Look how white that light that is coming up the sides, too. That is... Uh, very happy with that clutch for some oddball things. Once again, we're going to split this up with uh, uh, the owner of uh, Pet Haven. Um, so I think he'll be happy. I'm pretty sure we're going to keep this one right here. And then he'll probably want one of these two. That one I like. That one and that and then, one. Uh, we'll go from there. But we'll wait till they come out of the egg. We may be doing a filming next month. And about a week from now, just like we did the other one, give you a look at what these come like. And try to keep up, you know, at least doing one uh, filming a week, you know, we're no pros. We're certainly not going to be uh, Mr. Canova, Mr. Kabelka <laughs> on this. But we're going to try to throw a few out, learn a few things as we go. Get anything, anything, let's be honest. We just want people to see what we're breeding, how we're doing it. And if you have any questions or any interest in anything, you, you feel free to hit us up. Facebook, uh, Instagram, I think we're at uh, RoyalTemptations.Reptiles. Facebook is at RoyalTemptations. Uh, I don't have any social media related to this so that's about it you can donate the us arc always don't forget any rbc schomburg is this weekend enjoy 
Have a good one, guys.